My trip to Computex 2017 was possible thanks to Seasonic and Cryorig. Feel free to check them out at the links in the description box down below. Hello guys, Matthew here and welcome back again to the Tactic YouTube channel and to another Computex coverage video. Nowadays it's a bit hard for new brands to stand out next to the already established ones, particularly when it comes to PC related hardware and components which market is really saturated, but Cryorig has managed to stand out in a pretty short time, especially if you consider that they are only doing CPU coolers. That said, their upcoming first model called Taku was hogging the most attention on their booth. The reason why is that, besides being a really unique looking chassis, is because it's been a few years in development and they've actually introduced it on last year's Computex as a concept next to another chassis called Ola, but as of now they decided to release the Taku first on the market. They're actually doing that with the help of a Kickstarter campaign, which is at this time still underway, be sure to check it out if you you're interested at the link in the description box down below. Besides being compact, what's also interesting about this model is that it basically acts like a monitor stand with a place underneath it for tucking away the keyboard. It sort of reminds me of a small coffee table on account of these four wooden oak legs coming out at an angle. The main compartment looks like a single drawer cabinet guided by the rails and it actually acts like one, you only need to push press it like this and it just pops open. It's completely made of aluminium so it feels and looks really sturdy and I'm liking the brushed finish which it has while the chassis itself is actually built by Lian Li so I have next to zero doubts in the chassis build quality. The main inner part of it can easily house a complete mini ITX build and most importantly as you can see it here a long full size graphics card like this GTX 1080. Beside of course being able to take 2.5 inch drives there's a space for a 3.5 inch drive too while in terms of the power supply it can take SFX or SFX L1 while by the looks of it cable management shouldn't be a problem. I was told that they will include this 92. I was told that they will include this 92 mm fan while overall there's plenty of breathing room on the back and around the chassis itself thanks to these small holes. Although it's also available in red and gunmetal color finish, you can only get them through Kickstarter campaign, while for now, once it becomes available in retail, you'll only be able to get the silver version. Beside the Taku chassis, Krarig also displayed their SU series of completely copper made coolers based on some of their currently ongoing models like the H5 or C7. They are still in development, these were actually their first and only real samples that they have still waiting to be tested performance wise and from what I saw they are really really heavy, which is to be expected considering the copper only construction, but they told me they will probably shave some of the weight off once the final product comes out. They've also announced the new R5 model, a single tower design dual fan CPU cooler coming in with 6 heat pipes and their recognizable cryorig design, as well as the possibility that it will come with a differently colored outer cover plate, a white one beside the black, while they've asked me to ask you which one do you like the most. Lastly, we have one hidden easter egg and that's their new H7 Quad Lumi model which is actually an improved version of the original H7 series, performance wise as it has one additional heat pipe and aesthetics wise on account of the RGB lighting and it was just introduced right before Computex started, so be sure to stick around as I'll be doing a review of it soon. That's it for this video, still more to come out soon, be sure to like it if you found something that was interesting to you and feel free to comment down below and of course don't forget to subscribe for that upcoming content and until then, catch you later guys!